Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Hardwick Hall, which is near Sedgefield in County Durham in the UK. And we have a classic car and motorbike show going on. And I'm here photographing it for the right way around. <laughs> East Durham Life newspaper. Maybe it's Hartley Hall Life newspaper, I don't know. Have a look. Anyway, it's been good. Uh, loads and loads of stuff. You'll see it in the video anyway. So, uh, enjoy. What I bought, what I bought it is a new car, as far as what it was. We're covering all the various aspects of motoring history from 1896, dare we say, up to and including 2007. So as you can see, we find basically all years, all marks, all variations thereof. Um, the plenty to see and plenty to do with Hardwick Hall. As I say, uh, you'll spend quite a bit of time, no doubt, walking around the various exhibits. Um, if you notice, they're in age categories, so they range from 1796. Yeah, I know, I know. Remember, you're on the original ones? Exactly. Great, thanks for bringing the reader. Right, very nice. Thank you very much. So tell me about this. Right, so it's a 1975 Land Rover Ford Control. This is a radio body, radio variant. It was it. 14 signal regiment in Germany. Uh, they're the electronic warfare regiment in the British And did you army. say there used to be soft tops? Yes, well, the army basically went to the army and asked for uh, an air portable variant uh, to, to pull the guns, 105 light guns. Uh, so they made basically 2,700 of them, um, used for tractors and limbers for the 105 light guns. Then they went back to the army and said, right, we want to change some of the variants. We want some ambulances made, which similar to this, but slightly bigger and some radio bodies and recovery bodies. So they made, I'm not sure of the figure, probably a couple hundred of each. Uh, these can't be stripped down, uh, but the soft tops could. And there was one other variant called the Vampire, which was, three of these would go out, sneaky beaky signal stuff, and they would send it to the Vampire. And the Vampire was vehicle, army, mobile positioning, interferometry, radio equipment. Um, so they would collate it all and they could position where the enemy was and stuff. Very knowledgeable, thank you very much. No Cheers. Well. So we'll 
Nelson Wayne can be good for the clutch here. I will lay you off in second. Yeah. And, and, and uh, we winner. Lewis, where you going to? Goodbye towards late, late afternoon. It's supposed to clear with the clouds. So hopefully, even if it stays like this, this is okay. And an event like this, we don't want the really hot baking sun all day. I'm afraid it, 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 it doesn't bode well. This is an ideal rally day. Oh, sorry, I didn't know there was anybody. You've got the keys here. It's all right. So it's not a lot of room, is there? No. <laughs> it's a dual bed in the middle. So, what is it? Tell me where it is. It's a Rickman Rancher. What year? 1980 was the doing a car, and I think it was built in 89, wasn't it, Stuart? 
It was built into a camper in 89. And it looks like you actually use it as well. Ah, it gets used every day. Not really for camping, but it gets used. So I'm videoing you now. So tell me about this plywood Jeep. What was the man to tell you about that? Yeah. That's it. Right, Walter, tell me about this plywood Jeep. It's a Suzuki SJ410 running gear. Plywood M38 body on it. So all this body here is made out of plywood. This as well? That's plywood. That's aluminium. Amazing. Every time I've tried to look Thank you. Past, yeah, nobody else is here that somebody different. Well, being honest, we've got some knowledgeable audience around here. I'll tell you, we've we've been surprised before today. It's not gone further. Right, are you, are you in touch with the honest ones? Tango Hotel. Remember, these are cars that are blocking the entrance. Right, they've had a good walk around, took some good pictures, and uh, talked to some interesting people. It's been really, really good. Uh, if you haven't been, you've missed out on it and uh, come back next time. Just enjoy the video anyway. If you have liked it, give a big thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe if you like and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.